Hello, my name is Kyle Veroff, and I'm an intern working under the supervision of Dr. Lindsay here at Ohio State. My project was the development of a growth staging guide and an Ohio region production guide for Pennycrest. Why are these guides important? Overall, when searching for information on Pennycrest, there is an absence of consolidated information on its use as a crop, with most information only being found in the scientific literature. The growth staging guide has the added importance as a tool for researchers and producers alike to clearly communicate the phenotypic stage that a crop is in, no matter where the individual may be. The growth staging guide also assists in correlating management practices like nutrient applications to the optimal crop phenotypic stage. The production guide has the importance of consolidating production information, but also adjusts recommendations from other climactic zones for use in our specific growing region. The process that I took throughout this project can be separated into phases that were visited on multiple occasions. The first phase involved me being introduced to Pennycrest and subsequently reviewing the available scientific literature to develop a base of knowledge. Throughout, I'd have discussions with other I prefer collaborators to gather their experiences and to better define my literary searches. The next phase consisted of taking photographs of Pennycrest, which was developing on research plots throughout Ohio, and taking the bulk of the information from earlier liter literature and discussions and placing them into an outline to better organize the project. The final and ongoing phase is the reviewing of the information as well as formatting the guides to make them look as professional and as useful as possible. This is where I cannot thank enough Dr. Lindsay and the other I prefer collaborators for their thoughts and recommendations when reviewing this project. Looking deeper at the development of the growth stage guide for Pennycrest, the staging guide is based on the BBCH scale which is a standardized scale from zero to nine with each number describing a portion of the phenotypic development of a plant. The BBCH scale is the base scale of many staging guides for similar crops like canola and camelina. We notably exclude stages two and four due to the absence of the described characteristics or due to the stage occurring after a later stage. We also include an anatomy page outlining portions of Pennycrest to better assist in accurate staging. For example, outlining the differences between a tiller and a branch being where they originate and differentiating stem and floral branching on when they develop. To outline the production guide we developed, we include the normal agronomic recommendations like seeding rate and planting and harvest times. We also include discussion-based topics that can highlight questions about benefits and concerns that a producer may have. A couple of these topics include the benefits of increased biodiversity, and the benefits of cover crop usage, a discussion on the nutrients that may need to be applied like nitrogen, and the usage of herbicides for weed control. We also include topics of concerns like how pennycrest will affect the next year's crops and if pennycrest is a host for any pests or diseases. We hope these guides can be a building block for the future and be revised as more research is done. Not only updating and confirming our current agronomic recommendations, but also including further understanding of topics like the role that corn residue plays on seed germination. Another point for development is the incorporation of hydrothermal time in the growth staging guide. Similar to how growing degrees days in corn works, the use of temperatures and soil moisture measurements will further help us predict and understand the phenotypic development of plant grass. I would like to thank the I Prefer program, as well as all the I Prefer collaborators for all your help and support throughout this project. Thank you.